All right, everyone, welcome back to another activity time. This time I'm gonna be showing you a fun arts and crafts project that you can do that will one, get you outside as well as being able to do stuff inside. So I know right now a lot of people are kind of staying inside, but like for me, I love going outside. So this is one of those things that can combine both of them. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be making leaf lanterns. So these are gonna be made with some parchment paper, some card stocky, like thicker paper, leaves, tape and glue stick. So super basic things that you can have. Plus it gives you a chance to go outside. So what I first did is I went outside here at camp and looked around for a lot of different types of leaves. So out here in the hill country, we have so many different types of trees. We got cedar trees, oak trees, and trees that I don't even know the names of. So I got myself a good variety of leaves, both green and some that have been on the ground a little bit longer brown. As someone who loves the outdoors, I really recommend that you don't pick leaves from trees because those leaves are still doing their job keeping the tree alive but if they're on the ground or part of a stick just like this one those are the perfect one to grab so once you go outside grab your leaves you're going to come back inside and start making our lantern so we're using some parchment paper that you can find in the kitchen so i grabbed this from our kitchen so we're going to cut it into a different shape so for me i'm going to make a lantern about this tall so I cut out some paper with parchment paper. I'm going to skip that part since I already have a nice size right here. As you see, I have some cardstock on the top and bottom. This is because I'm making the lantern so it stands on its own. If you have a little jar lid from, for example, maybe a jar of pickles or things like that, you can use that as your base. But here I'm going to go strictly all cardstock and parchment paper. So I measured out some cardstock about the length and I cut it across. I'll show a demo of how I did that right here. So I measured it out, making sure that it matches the length of the parchment paper and just did one nice cut. If you need help cutting, ask someone in your household and they can help make these two rectangular shapes of cardstock. Once you have that out, you're gonna glue it both on the top and the bottom. So I'm gonna glue this on one more time, just make sure that it is super secure. I glued mine on a little bit earlier just to make sure that the glue sticks. So you might have to wait in between the gluing and the next part just to make sure that it is staying. So another layer just to be sure because this is going to be the bottom. I want to make sure that it is extra secure. All right, just like that. So at this point, you should kind of have a lantern base that looks like this, some cardstock on top and bottom, but plenty of room right here that will be the lantern. So you can do a lot of things. You can trace your favorite action hero from a comic book, or for me, I'm going to be using these leaves. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of take these leaves and glue them throughout this piece of parchment paper. If you want these leaves to stay a little bit better, you can dry them out overnight. So put them in between two pieces of newspaper and it'll pull out any of the last water in there as well as kind of make them really nice and flat. So I'm just going to glue some leaves around here. Some of my favorite trees up here are the oak trees. So I got a couple of the oak leaves just to kind of show my favorite tree on here. And it's okay if some of those leaves are nice and crinkly and they might like break a little bit. That is a okay. You can just use that glue to make it look however you like. I'm going to add a couple more leaves here and there. And this is, if you're interested, you can even look up what these different leaves are that you might find in your neighborhood. There's a lot of cool tools out there to kind of help get you more into the outdoors. I'm not gonna make any plugs to any right now because I don't have any sponsors, so I don't want to give any free promo in these videos. So I'm gonna glue these leaves on there. Some, I, as you can see, I have a nice variety of some, a green one, a cool red and green one, and some brown ones. I'm gonna add maybe just two more leaves, and then we're going to start our next step. And this is a fun activity where you can pair it with a little walk around your neighborhood. So you can go around finding different cool trees, and most trees at this time will have some leaves on the ground. So you can just grab one or two. It's a nice way to kind of do an activity with the whole household, going on a little walk and finding everyone's leaves that they like. So as you see, I got a nice little layer of leaves right here. To make sure that they are staying right there, I'm going to cut another piece of parchment paper to lay on top to kind of make a nice little seal. 
So again, if you need some help with the scissors, now is the time to go find someone. And the cool thing with these lanterns, so I don't have any lights right now, but you can put little tea lights in there and you can use this as a little light in your bedroom or with your in the living room or kitchen. So there's a lot of fun things you can do with this. So to make sure that it seals, I'm going to glue, put a lot of glue on the top right where it's going to go on that cardstock or thicker construction paper. And it's okay if your parchment paper has a little bit of a tear in it or if it's nice and wrinkly, kind of gives a little bit more of that homemade effect to it. As you see, I have both sides now secure. You can kind of see the leaves in there when you hold it up to the light. It's kind of hard to see right now in this room, but when you have a light inside or even some surrounding lights, it'll look really cool. So what we're going to do now is we're going to kind of roll it into that lantern. So this one you might need some help if you have another person around to kind of help hold it. So I'm going to hold one in right there. I'm going to both glue and tape it to make sure it is really secure. So I'm going to first glue the top or the bottom. It doesn't really matter which side. My top is going to be this side because there's only one piece of that cardstock. Now I'm going to glue the bottom one right there. So as you see, I have a nice narrow lantern like this. You can make them much, if you want it wider, you can go that way. I like these nice ones like this. So again, I'm just going to add some tape to make sure that everything is secure. I'm using some just normal, I forgot the name of this tape. It looks like masking tape. That's what the insider says. So this tape actually will also, since it's very thin and translucent, it will also kind of add to the effects of the light. So, as you see, we got our lantern on both sides. If you want to put something on the bottom to kind of keep it in place, we're going to do that now. So I'm going to take another piece of cardstock like this and just kind of make a very rough trace of the bottom. It can be a very wonky looking circle. There's really pretty hard to cut a perfect circle. You know what? I'm just going to cut a nice square. I have a square base for mine. I have that nice square base right there. I'm just going to use some tape just because it's a little bit easier to make sure that it is secure to the base. Okay, so I'm right there. This part, it might not look as perfect or it might give you some difficulty as it's giving me. That's okay. It's all about the experience. For me, as I was saying earlier, I just love a chance to get out into the outdoors. So this is a fun way of combining both arts and crafts and a chance to go on a little bit of a nature walk. So there we go. I got the two pieces right there. It looks up oh, as it proceeds to fall off, but you know what? That's A-OK. -okay. Art can be a little bit messy at times and not perfect. Uh, a famous painter who loves using all sorts of things always say that sometimes it's just a happy little mistake that turns into something different might turn into a little tree, a cloud, you never really know. Mine is turning into a funky looking base for a lantern, but like, we gotta do what we gotta do. So as you see right now, I have my paper leaf lantern. I would use a little flashlight to kind of show you what it looks like, but at this moment I don't have it, so guess what? I'm gonna cut in a picture of what it looks like lit up right here. Really cool thing, isn't it? So again, this is a great way to kind of get out the outdoors and do an arts project. I really thank you for joining along with another activity time with Alex, and we look forward to seeing you at the next program.